Dear 15 year old me. Now, I know you're never gonna watch this. Well, not unless even older me lives in a world where time travel is actually a thing. Today, I just wanna talk to you about what I've learned and what I would tell you if I could speak to you. Five years have now passed and you're now 20 years old. I know that sounds really old. I mean, I still haven't got used to it either. I know you are currently happy with how your life is. And I know that the main thing that is getting to you is the future. You are in year 11, about to take your GCSEs, and the thought of the change that is about to occur after that, I know, completely terrifies you. You've never been good with change, and to be honest, you haven't really got much better at it. But soon you will learn that it isn't all bad, and actually change can sometimes be a good thing. Soon you will be moving into sixth form, and I know that you're really worried about being very lonely due to your friends or separating and going off on their different ways. But soon you'll realise that it's not the end of the world. Yes, you will lose quite a few friends and this won't be due to any arguments or any drama. It'll just be because you'll drift apart and you'll all just move on with your lives. However, this is not the case with all of them and don't worry, the really important ones have still stuck around and I'm sure will stick around for many years to come. You will also meet some new friends, some in the most unexpected of places and they will help you learn that you can always be 100% yourself. I know something else you are struggling with is the thought of growing up. Teachers at school keep lecturing you on what you want to do with your life and I know you do feel completely clueless about it all right now. You won't figure it all out really until you get to my age but that's okay, it's just something that comes with time and something that you don't really realise until your future experiences. Also please try not to stress so much about your exams and your grades. I know it seems really important, but they aren't the be all and end all. Yes, you won't get that A in every subject like you're predicted, but you'll do your best and you'll get the marks where it counts and you'll still achieve so much without straight A's. You will learn that your stress and anxiety just tends to make things worse, but you'll also learn how to deal with it better. Please stop taking your family for granted. I know you love them all dearly, but I know you do sometimes take things out on them that definitely isn't their fault. You might complain that they try and get you to do the odd things around the house or that they won't take you to JLS even though you've begged them for about two weeks straight. But your parents honestly do everything they can for you, trust me. They go above and beyond for you but unfortunately this isn't something that you'll fully realise until you have to look after yourself and when you're a hundred miles away from them. Your dad is very, very, very overprotective, I know. But soon he'll realise that you're growing up and he will actually give you the freedom that you've been asking for but for now just remember that he only does it because he cares also try to spend as much time as you can with your family going in town on the weekend might currently seem more appealing than spending the weekend with your family but that option may not be there forever and soon you'll wish you took it more your next few years yes will have a lot of change but will also be so incredible you'll finally get the chance to go to all those gigs you want you'll get to travel to those places that you wouldn't have even imagined going to anytime soon you will also and create some amazing memories. For now, just take every day as it comes and enjoy being young with absolutely no responsibilities. You'll have your bad days just like everybody else, but it's not the end of the world and the good will definitely outweigh the bad. Also, don't get so caught up on boys. The one that you think is currently the one definitely isn't. You'll soon realise that you're looking in the wrong place and the guy for you, you wouldn't have even given a second thought to, but when you do, you'll realise it will completely change your life.